Greetings my lovelies, hi it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'll be tasting another MRE, but this time it's a little bit different because it is very old. This ration dates from 1990. This is a 26 year old ration pack and it is meal number 10, meatballs with barbecue sauce. So this is one of four really old MREs that I'll be tasting. So if you're interested in these, look for more of these tastings in the future. And if you're curious about where I found them, I found them on eBay where you find all kinds of great treasures. <laughs> So there's the MRE, and MRE is a meal ready to eat. It's issued to US soldiers, and it contains everything for a soldier to eat in one meal. This is in excellent condition. The package seems to be nice and sealed and tight. There doesn't seem to be any holes. The plastic feels very heavy gauge, very similar to the MREs that you find today. Besides the taste, I think what I'm really curious about is the changes in technology in terms of what is inside this and if it contains a flameless ration heater or am I supposed to boil this? I'm about to find out. Oh, and if you like these kinds of ration tastings, I shall put the playlist down below where I've tasted tons of other military rations, including international ones as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on this. The newer ones I've noticed are peelable. You can open them by peeling them, although I always have a hard time. <laughs> this one looks to be very well sealed. doesn't look at all peelable. So here it is. Oh, look at this. Meatballs with barbecue sauce. It comes in its little cardboard box. It comes in an accessories pack A, which I've been calling a sundries pack, and instead of being in a clear packet, it is in this kind of khaki color. Let's open that real quick. Cream substitute, salt, instant coffee, sugar, gum, one tiny spoon. Look at the size of that. That's like a children's size spoon. Chocolate covered cookie, some peanut butter, fruit mix, beverage base powder, grape, and some crackers. So I don't see a ration heater. I guess I'm supposed to boil this. Yep, here it is. Everything looks to be in very great condition. Everything is nicely shrink wrapped still. There's no leaks. So I'm still gonna taste this. And yes, I'm just gonna pop this into some boiling water and let it boil for five to 10 minutes. Be right back. So while the meatballs are heating up, I'm gonna taste some other things. And this is instant coffee type one, which leads me to believe that there must be other types. It says dissolve in a third of a canteen cup, which is eight ounces of water. Too? Wow, so this is more like Sanka. Rather than being crystals, this is a powder. Coffee. It smells like kind of burnt coffee. Use my tiny spoon. And I usually have my coffee black, so let's give that a taste. Cheers. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> it tastes like burnt truck stop coffee, but it's hot and it'll give you a little bit of energy. So generally a good thing, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Let's try these next. And these are just labeled crackers. The vacuum sealed seems to be intact. So I'm not concerned about the freshness. And in fact, I just heard it go. Psh. <laughs> so two crackers, that's what they look like on the back. Two small perforations. So you can break them in half and they're beautiful. I think the holes probably make them a little less dense. Let's try it with a little bit of peanut butter. So this says it's fortified and it says need package before opening. Brilliant, right? Because all the oils separate. So we need to reincorporate that back into the peanut part of the peanut butter. This too has a very nice seal. It doesn't look at all questionable. Peanut butter and crackers, here we go. Denakimas. It tastes fine. The peanut butter tastes just like plain old creamy peanut butter. And while the cracker tastes bland, that doesn't taste bad. Mm hmm Actually, in terms of both flavor and texture, it's almost identical to a saltine cracker, although it doesn't look like it. It's nice and flaky, actually. It's not dense and super hard. It's actually crunchy, tastes floury, and has a little bit of salt in there. Let's mix up our other drink. This is the beverage base powder in grape. Mix it in 12 ounces of water. I've got this little mason jar here with 12 ounces of water. The granules on that are quite large. And indeed, it is purple. Let's stir this up. 
it's not dissolving as quickly as some of the other drinks I've had. I still see a lot of sugar in there. I'm going to set that aside. I think our entree should be ready, so let's grab that. Whoa, it's really hot. It smells like barbecue sauce. So it just looks like meatballs. The meatballs do look kind of dark, though. Mm, they don't taste off at all. They actually are kind of dry and very reminiscent of the meatballs that you would find in canned SpaghettiOs, kind of spongy and have that kind of strange meat flavor. And they finish with a kind of celery salt flavor to them. The barbecue sauce is both sweet and tangy and a little bit smoky. All right, let's try it on a cracker. Mm. It's not bad, it definitely tastes processed. It's not exactly delicious either, but after a long day when you're really hungry, I think pretty much anything would taste good. All right, let's wash that down with our very dark purple beverage base powder stuff. Here we go, cheers. Mm. It does taste a bit like Kool-Aid. The grape flavor actually isn't very strong, very sweet, and kind of reminds me of cough syrup. I guess you just have to add a little bit of alcohol to make it taste like cough syrup officially. <laughs> the thing that I'm most curious in this pack is this, and this is the fruit mix. And I think what's so interesting about this is you can eat it dry or you can have it reconstituted in water. Whoa, that is not what I expected. It's like space food. It's freeze-dried. Wow, look at that. And it has freeze-dried, looks like that might be pineapple, but then it has these bright pink chunks in it. Whoa, it smells a bit like strawberries. Really, really light. It's like insulation foam or something. Similar to that candy sea foam. I don't know if you can hear that. It has a very brittle, spongy, airy texture. Mmm. -hmm. That's great. I really like that. Mm -hmm. It's actually a lot sweeter than I expected it to be, but it's just freeze dried fruit. My sons love freeze dried fruit. I get them at Trader Joe's all the time. They love the strawberries and the raspberries and they're really intensely fruity flavored, but it has a kind of a strange, crunchy, airy texture to them. And kind of similar to cotton candy because once you bite it, it just sort of instantly dissolves in your mouth. Delightful. The matches look to be still intact. Let's see if they'll still lay. Yeah, we have fire. Great. <laughs> Let's check out this toilet paper. I've never seen the toilet paper presented quite like this before. It's folded in half, probably to make it smaller. And I'm assuming it's toilet paper. Yeah, it looks to be. It looks to be individual sheets. And there you go. You can use it for, you know, your needs. I almost forgot. Dessert. A cookie, I think, coated in chocolate. There it is. Mm. While it is sweet and will definitely satisfy your sweet tooth cravings, it doesn't taste very delicious. And granted, this is a very old cookie, but the chocolate doesn't have a really strong chocolate flavor. It just tastes sweet with a slight kind of cocoa flavor. And the cookie is kind of dense and crumbly. It doesn't quite taste like graham, doesn't quite taste like vanilla cookie either. It actually tastes kind of soapy, but that could be just the fact that this is just really old. <laughs> Although the vacuum packaging looked really tight on this as well. In fact, everything in this package was in great order. The last thing we're gonna try are the little two pieces of gum. Oh, <laughs> and now that it's had a moment to warm up, it just tastes like sweet wintergreen gum. Totally typical chiclet. So that completes my first tasting of a very old MRE. And I have to say it actually wasn't bad. Although I have to say the meat in the entree wasn't very good. I was very impressed with the freeze dried fruit cocktail thing. Yeah, that was pretty great. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know in the comments if you have any connections to some old rations because I'd love to taste more. I'm very curious to see how MREs and these rations have evolved through the years. And don't forget to follow me on social media, share this video with your friends, subscribe, show this video a little bit of love, and yeah, I shall see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.